Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for me, A1. This time we have Seadroid ROM based on Android 14. So I have tried Seadroid ROM on few other devices and it worked really well, but not on this device. So as you can see here, me A1, Android version is 14, the Seadroid version is 10.9 and the CV departure level is from October 1st, 2024. And there is no latest build of Seadroid ROM for this device. So the UI is pretty much similar to all other AOSP based ROM. The notification panel is also pretty similar. In terms of network, internet and hotspot, everything is working perfectly fine, no issue. Even Boo LTE and Boo Wi-Fi working. Notification as you can see here pretty much similar to all other ROM. In terms of battery, battery is also doing pretty well. But we don't really have any kind of fast charging here. We can see here actually adaptive charging option and charging control option all those things and the battery information also you can check although they are pretty much unreliable and battery states as you can see here so these are few things available in the battery section but the battery backup is pretty good sound and vibration so working perfectly fine no issue with sound and vibration wallpaper and style we don't really have any kind of ai wallpaper or anything like that but the default wallpaper is there and you can choose your own so as you can see here and there are few other options in more lock screen option. So as you can see here, privacy option and few other things. In the display section, we do have like auto brightness and everything. Extra dim, dark theme and all those things. Double tap to work and double tap to sleep, all those things. So double tap to sleep is working and double tap to work is working. So pretty fast and reliable, working pretty well. And the torch setting also there. So you can calibrate the torch setting as this device got dual tone flash. In terms of security and privacy, both face and fingerprint unlock a Bible and both of them works pretty well. Obviously face unlock going to be a little bit slower side but the fingerprint is pretty fast and works every time. So you can stick to fingerprint unlock. And in terms of customization we do have shared droid setting. So customizations are available, quick setting, lock screen, navigations buttons user interface as you can see here disable hardware keys although the hardware keys are disabled but still the buttons are working there are minor bugs here and there you will find them but the full screen navigation gesture is a bible so you can use that too so as you can see here it is working pretty well navigation gesture and in the server setting we do have few other settings like game space google play integrity spoof unlimited photo storage all those things although we do have three finger swipe to take a screenshot but the gesture doesn't work as you can see here there are few other things available like in the sound setting we do have few other things so in terms of customization there are plenty of things available so that's all what we are getting in the setting panel nothing much in the application part we are not getting a lot here actually but we got a camera application here which is working perfectly fine no issue i did try that so it is working as you can see here and i did install a gcam here which is working as you can see and we can switch to telephoto lens by pressing on 2x so as you can see here telephoto lens is also working and if you want this gcam i will put the gcam link in the description below you can download it from there so gcam is working and in terms of google photos so google photos unlimited storage is available let me show you as you can see here unlimited storage is available and in terms of magic editor so if i try magic editor right now Magic editor. So magic editor is working perfectly fine. So that's kind of amazing. In terms of other things, we don't really have any kind of Google Play Protect certification. Because of that, actually, we can't really use bank application on this ROM. So as you can see here, device is not certified. I did try to fix it, but it didn't work. So you can't use bank application here and maybe a few other application will not work here. But I did install WhatsApp and WhatsApp is working perfectly fine. No issue with that. Few other things are available like music player and also game space and few other things. In terms of calling, Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi, both of them working and I did record the call. So call recording is also working. 
So, in terms of gaming, this ROM is not really good for gaming. I did play Call of Duty here, but it was not really playable. Although, as you know, this device is not really for gaming anymore. Most of us do play games on our device. So, in terms of gaming, it will not going to perform well if you are playing any heavy games. But for Temple Run, Subway Surf, all those games, those will run perfectly fine. You will not have any issue with them. Overall, the ROM is actually pretty good. It is pretty fast and fluid. There are minor bugs here and there, but overall, you will not be disappointed after installing this ROM. It works pretty well actually. Pretty decent ROM and optimized well. So, if anyone wants to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. And that's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.